Hey, it's me, Stomp, and welcome back to some more Frozenopolis. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, haha. <laughs> oh, this pack's going to be difficult. I just know it. I just know it is. Um, but I want to say thank you very much for watching the last episode. Um, I appreciate everybody who hit the like button, who commented, and stuff like that. I still haven't. Whoa! I still haven't managed to reply to the comments yet, but uh, I, I will get around to it. Um, uh, but yeah, I want to say thank you very much. I really, honestly, really do appreciate you guys. Um, so, so let's talk about, um, uh, what we were doing yesterday. Yesterday, uh, we, we, we spent some time, uh, trying to get used to this pack and figure out exactly what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I, I... I have been, I've been a little busy, nothing too major, nothing too crazy, uh, just dug out this little area here, um, so that I've got somewhere that I can, I can start doing, um, uh, botanias and, and hopefully, uh, growing some stuffs and things as well. I find this game very dark, it's very dark, but I came in here and there was grass already here, so I started to try and get it to, uh, to come down here so I can start using the grass uh, to bone meal it or or use the um uh, the what's the stuff called the uh the 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 I should use a shovel for that I know the um the the this stuff the the floral fertilizer because this should work on dirt anyway it does um but I wanted to use it on uh on grass as well uh and also try and get some seeds from bone mealing grass uh because it shouldn't freeze why we're down here uh but anyway what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna hit this a whole bunch of times and i'm gonna get all the flowers i can and hopefully uh we can get into the uh the 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 the, the botanias i'll be right back okay i have i have a decent supply of these um these flowers now and i've, I've just just got myself some tall mystical white uh white petal as well because they you can turn into the the bone meal, and then if I add them with the bone and <laughs> the bone meal, with the white dye, and then if I add them to bone meal, I can make more of the uh, the other stuff. What I do need to do is take some of this wood that I've just made. Now, can I do this? No. Okay, I need to take some of this wood that I made, and and make some some chests. I need to be able to store all of this stuff because I've just got too much right now. So uh, let's just put you uh, there and there. There we go. Cool. And we'll put all of these in here, like so. We'll come back to them when we need them. Um, I'm going to probably need you and... Uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. We'll just put, we'll put all of that in there. We'll get rid of you guys. And this guy. And I need the, that guy in there. There we go. So I've got a little bit of space. Right. What we need to do is... We need to get started in, in Britannia. So we're going to need to make a Petal Apothecary. A Petal Apothecary is just cobblestone and all of that business. So hopefully we should be able to do this, do that. And then uh, Petal, Pet, Petal, Pet, Petal, Petal Apothecary. There we go. We should be able to make one of those. There we go. Fantastic. And that should be a quest, hopefully. Please. No. No, it is not because we need to be able to get some water so we need to craft a bowl which should be like that there we go we get four water that way and then a bowl of ice craft a bowl of ice and that is the ice shards with you do we have yes we do we have the ice shards here so if we place that there with that there we go we should get four bowls of ice that's fantastic and then a bowl of water. Using a campfire, we'll a bowl of ice into a bowl of water. This bowl can be used to fill the petal apothecary. Hmm. Okay. So, like so. Oh, oh. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, but can you use said bowl of water to place water in the world? No. What if I throw it down? No. Okay. All right. It's worth a try. It was definitely worth a try. But um, let me let me hollow out a little bit of an area here. And yeah, because, you know, make it even. We'll hollow out a little area here and I can start working on my flowers. So give me a second. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. So there we go. We've got our little area here. And what I'm going to need to do now is I'm going to need to make the pure daisy um i'm gonna need a few of them 
And the only way I'm going to do this, is, is there a... Wait, there's... there's Why is there a piece of cobblestone in here? <laughs> that was weird. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna need some seeds, aren't I? So let's take. Let's take these. And make some bone meal. There we go. Let's see if we can get some regular seeds now. Hopefully, we can. There we go. Cool. And how many do we get there? Two. This. Uh, two's enough, actually. Two. Two will be. It's down here. Two will be just fine for now. So one, two, three, four, and then some seed. Uh, there you go. Thank you very much. And then if we throw, not throw, but if we place another bowl of water in here, one, two, three, four, and then finally the other seed. There we go. That's that done. And now we have the two pure daisies, which is kind of fantastic because what we can do is if we place one here and one just there and do i have yes i do and do i have my stone up here i think i do in there there it is cool and then what we can do is start making the uh the living rock and the living wood and hopefully um we can get some form of of Britannia uh setup so let's check the quest what do we get as a reward here the flower pouch i was looking to make that um so mystical white flower we already have so that should trigger that quest that does snowy blossom we already have that that quest should trigger and then what's this freezing cold it's locked uncompleted dependencies locked uncompleted dependencies obtain or craft green mystical flower i do have green mystical flower i believe in here there it is trigger that quest thank you very much there we go that's that done and then i need to make the the green uh dye equivalent or whatever that is now there we go that is that quest done and then can be used to turn dirt into grass can affect area around the block the haymakers mix or pasture seeds. Now, how do we make pasture seeds then? Because normally it was to throw something in mana, right? Let's have a look. Pasture, pasture seed. Oh, it's in the petal apothecary. Okay, fair enough. We can do that real quick. Um, because we have we have the bowl here. Let's do that. Uh, we'll throw that down. We'll throw those in. And uh, a bit of dirt. Was it was it a bit that looked like a bit of dirt to me? Um, let's grab this guy. There we go. And go and throw that in there. There we go. We got our got our pasture seed, which we don't need to use right now, but we've got it anyway. And then wooden shears can be used to collect grass. Well, we can do that just by doing this. There we go. And if we grab uh the wooden shears that we made earlier on. Or yesterday, should I say. And then just do that. There we go. That should be those done. And these are finished. Fantastic. So let's break these up. And I need to make some more. So what I'm going to do now is I will go ahead. I will make a whole bunch of these uh, until I run out of stone and wood. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. So I have pretty much uh, 24 of each for now. Um, <laughs> I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. And um, went ahead and um, yeah, there you go. I uh, did some of the things that it, it was waiting for me to do as a quest. I kind of did it a little bit early. Um, and that was to get the seeds. So that is that quest completed now. And then that brings me on to the pure daisy, which I've already made. So I just need to wait for these to do their thing. Then I can pick this up and put it back down. And then, as you can see, living rock, living wood is the other things that it wants. So done those. I don't know why, but Ultimine mine doesn't work with uh, with these for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, so going to have to do this manually. But I can see where this pack is going. And it was an idea I had um, in, I think it was 114, um, uh, to make a pack where you use... Uh, the orchid from Britannia to generate materials. Uh, and that is how it looks like we're going. Um, so what do we get as a reward? We get the Lexica Britannia. And then I don't know what a Glacier Flora is. Hmm. Thriving in the cold. What does this do? What? Um, hmm. Control? 
Let's find out. Uh, there's an alternative to the rain ute, but for snow biomes, you know why this is a thing. What does it do? Does it generate mana from snow? Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it does, and that's why it requires it. Now, do we have the blue? We have the light blue, and is it the light blue that it requires to make that flower? Um, let's have a look again. Whoops, I, I really got to get used to these controls once more. Um, let's have a look. So, light blue, mystical petal, and then the white. Okay, that's that's easy done. What we're going to need to do then is we're going to need to make ourselves a bunch of bone meal. To make the bone meal, we're going to need to go and get a bunch of snow. Now, if I come out here, I should be able to. There we go. Can I alter mine? No. That sucks. That that really sucks, but that's fine. I'll just uh, I'll just use this and this is the way to do it. This is this is the fastest way to do it because the snow is just going to keep constantly plaguing me forever and ever and ever but um we'll be able to use it to uh hopefully generate mana um so what i'm gonna need to do now now i've got all of that is i'm gonna need to cook up uh, a whole bunch of stone turn that stone into calcite and then that calcite into uh bone meal so <laughs> once again i'll see you in a bit Believe it or not, that actually didn't take all that long and I ended up with three stacks, so I'm quite happy about that. Uh, let's throw the snow in there and we'll throw the rest of the snow in there. Uh, we better keep these guys on us and we're going to definitely need the seeds. Hey, I got melon seeds. Hmm. Hmm, I'll think about that. I'm, I'm wondering if I can make food with it. Um, I don't know though, I don't know if it's possible. The other thing that I do want to do is do I have let me let me see if I've got a bit of bit of dirt here there we go I, I want that grass to spread across uh to there so that I can have I can have the grass going going all the way across right um so what we need to do is we need to take our uh, blue I'm sure it was I'm sure it was light blue uh so we need to take a light blue flower now I can't remember can you bone meal these or was that just um a skies thing no. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, you can, however, turn them into a tool. Yes, you can by bone mealing them. Okay. All right. So it's not quite the effect that I wanted, but that's fine. Uh, cause what we can do now is turn that tool into four of the blue and then do the same here. Um, and then, uh, just do this and I need to do it with the white ones as well. So dudes, um, I hate to keep cutting, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go away and um and and make a whole bunch of these because we gotta make these flowers. So give me a minute, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so there we go. I've got I've got 16 of each flower. Um I don't I don't know how many I need. We're, we're, we're just gonna figure it out as we go along. Um the other thing I need to make is this this guy, the um the 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 I forget what you're called. I really do forget what you're called. Uh, the 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 wand of the forest. That that was it. I I I was close. I was close. Now, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's like that or like like this. I forget. I really I really cannot remember how how to make the wand of the forest. Let's have a look. Wand of the forest is stripped living wood. Stripped stri or, or normal living wood, right? So one, two, three. There we go. And then just two petals of each. I guess we'll just use blue and white because we have them in abundance. So one, two, and three. And then you and you. There we go. That gets me a wand of the forest. There we go. Fantastic. Excellent. Great. And that's beautiful. Um, so now, uh, now we have all this. It's going to want a mana spreader. Which is a different recipe. I, I did not know that that was a recipe, but that's fine. Um, and we're also going to need the ice shards and the bowls that we had uh, just here. Because, um, yeah, because that's a thing now. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to do this. There we go. And then bowl of ice. We need to cook on here, don't we? That's right. Yes. The cook the bowl of ice. I, I, Blood moon rises. What? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Bl Blood Moon's a thing? 
That... That's a little unfair, don't you think? I I feel like that's that's not a good good thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so uh so we need four of you. One uh, <laughs> I'm really worried about that blood moon. Let's make let's make three of these and then one, two, three, like so. And three of those. So um let's get rid of, of you guys. So we're going to want four. Uh, let's put those there. Those there. There we go. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. With uh, what's that? Just the C. There we go. Right. So then I should be able to right click with it. No. Do I have to add the water? Maybe. There we go. Now right click with an empty hand, and I should be able to do that. There we go. So there's another one. And then if I add the water one more time, and right click. There we go. And that should get me my third. Now, I do not. I do not want to be going outside. No way do I. That That's a bad idea right now. Um, but what we can do is we can now make um, uh, one of these guys. Now, has the recipe changed? No, it has not. So let's make a mana pool. There we go. Excellent. Oh, good times. And then... All we now need to do is make one of these, which uh, is like uh, like so, which I, I find that quite expensive, really. Um, spreader. There we go. Mana spreader done. Yes. And that should be that chapter. It is. It is finished. That's it. It's completed. But. But. I need to wait, and I can't sleep on a blood moon, right? That's how it used to be. You can't... Oh, you can. Ooh. But what's it going to be like outside? Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, um, well, this is getting a, it's getting a little bit crazy out here. So, if it's not bad, can I, first of all... Can we find some dirt here? That is dirt. Excellent. So can I then potentially have this so that it will it will make mana for me out here? I'm, I'm kind of hoping that that's what I can do here. Um, so that's just snow, right? Okay, snow, dirt. I need I need to I need to be able to to get a whole bunch of dirt and snow moved so that I can place this down. I know I'm using the wrong tool as well. Uh, but let me get this set up so that I can actually start um, generating some mana here. So there we go. I have it placed. But. Ah, there we go. We are making mana. This this will show the amount of mana, but you can't actually see it because shaders, for some reason, uh, does not allow uh, mana to show. But what I want to do is really quickly, if we just throw like some of these all, all away for a second. Um, I wanted to grab the book, and then if I shift click on it, it should open the page where this uh, this thing is. There we go. It just says it's an alternative to the rain rani ute, and and the rani rani ute. I have no idea what that does. I was kind of hoping it would tell me, but I'm assuming that it generates mana from snow. Um, so if that's the case. We're going to probably want uh, 10,000 of these, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but dudes, listen, I've gone on for hours and hours and hours playing this. And uh, I really need to end this episode here because it's going to be, uh, be a very, very long one. Uh, but dudes, thank you so much for watching. Take care, each and every one of you. If you did enjoy, please do stomp on that like button for me. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Goodbye.